Jadon Sancho has been one of Manchester United's best performers during pre-season, scoring three goals in four games during their tour of Australia and raising hopes that he could thrive under new manager Eric Ten Hag. Sancho arrived at United last summer having emerged as one of the most exciting young players in Europe with Borussia Dortmund, but his first season at United did not live up to expectations. In 29 Premier League games following his £73 million transfer, he registered only three goals and three assists, a significant drop on what he produced at Borussia Dortmund. In addition to those disappointing numbers for goals and assists, we can see here that Sancho produced fewer chances per 90 minutes, fewer shots on goal and fewer successful dribbles. Put simply, he didn't do nearly enough of the things he did so effectively for Dortmund. Now, it was of course a difficult season for everybody at Manchester United, not just Sancho. There was instability in the dugout and there was a real lack of chemistry and cohesion on the pitch as well. Sancho was of course adapting to a new league having come from the Bundesliga and that task was made trickier by uncertainty over his role in the team. Sancho was signed to play on the right of United's attack, a position in which he shone for Dortmund, but he ended up playing almost exclusively on the left. The actions by zone comparison we can see here shows the difference in how he was used by Dortmund and how he was then used by Manchester United last season. One of the reasons for this change was the arrival of Cristiano Ronaldo late last summer. Suddenly, United's front line had to be constructed around him. Now Sancho has described the experience of playing alongside Ronaldo as fantastic, but they struggled to strike up much of a relationship on the pitch. We can see that if we look at Manchester United's past combination stats for last season. Despite playing in close proximity to Ronaldo on the pitch, Sancho exchanged an average of just 6.8 passes per 90 minutes with Ronaldo. That was fewer than seven other United players. At Dortmund, Sancho had a far better understanding with Erling Haaland, whose game is based around explosive pace and runs in behind opposition defences. Ronaldo remains a deadly presence in the box and we saw that at United last season, but at 37 he offers far less movement and dynamism than someone like Haaland. Sancho's time at Dortmund also shows he is most effective when surrounded by qualities like that and that is part of the reason why he has excelled under Ten Hag in pre-season. With Ronaldo absent, Sancho has been part of a fast and fluid front three with Anthony Martial and Marcus Rashford and he has clearly relished that. Ten Hag may have to change his plans again if Ronaldo stays at the club this season, but if he wants to get the best out of Sancho, his best option might be to stick with what has worked so well in pre-season.